guy's doing this. This is so stupid in reference to the information. Like, for instance, this government man thinks he has a right trying to confuse my identity. These people are confusing documents, too. They're trying to confuse education. They're trying to confuse DNA information. They're trying to confuse all the information as their way of trying to steal everything from me. Like, they, they know where they kidnapped me from. But yet then they're claiming they didn't kidnap me, but then they're the ones that got caught. They're the ones claiming that they didn't know who somebody is because they're the ones trying to switch the information. Obviously, these people are not competent in their positions of understanding a person's identity or who they are and where they come from. Now, my identity is the number one documented identity in the whole country. There's no legal way for them to pretend like they didn't know who I am. My face does not look like other people's faces. My teeth don't look like other people's teeth. You know, they cause this damage. I'm talking about without the damage. You know, my body is very unique. You know, I'm a real hermaphrodite. They don't have a right looking or checking or anything. They don't have a right touching me either. That's one of the reasons why the royal protocol is so detailed. Anybody trying to touch me can face the death penalty. That's the facts, and that's what it says. That's why they made the document so detailed in reference to the royal protocol. And somebody tried to communicate something that this man was trying to steal my identity while he was holding me hostage, and he's the one trying to steal my identity. And nobody can figure out who the man is because he's like the ringleader of these thieves. But he was holding me hostage, abusing me, and these government people had raped me and physically assaulted me as their way of claiming they didn't know who I am. In their crimes and abuses of them claiming that they had credibility in the activity of denying the most documented person's identity in the whole country of America. Obviously, these people have no honesty or credibility, but yet they're still sitting in their political positions or government positions or law enforcement positions, acting like they didn't know the facts. They're, they're even confusing DNA information, factual documents, written documents, factual fingerprints. You know, in reference to, my fingerprints are documented that I'm a hermaphrodite. A real born hermaphrodite. And it's documented that I'm the child of my mother and father. And this man is trying to change the information. And the Asian embassies want it known that they got the information too. So does the Italian and French embassy. And the treasury has the information too. And a lot of other places. But why aren't they arresting these people? They're all trying to play their Robin Hood tricks of holding me hostage because they didn't manage their families better than what they did or they didn't manage their money so they thought they'd try to steal from me. Those government people have to get prosecuted for their crimes and all their abuses. They're even confusing the facts when they're right in front of their fucking face. They're confusing the information when it's right there. Diagrams of my identity. Birthmarks, beauty marks, scars, fingerprints. These people are sexual predators. They are rapists, they are murderers, and they're goddamn liars every fucking day. These goddamn people are in their government positions.